Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the most frequently used tool in my life and it's likely the most important tool for my health. And this tool is actually in my bathroom. Um, yeah, so let me explain. So this is definitely not a specialty item. In fact, it's very common. I think the generic name is bathroom handheld sprayer. You can definitely use this term to search. You will be able to find them in any places that sell home hardware. The cheapest model I found is under $30. So we all know that prior to doing IC, we have to sanitize our private area. The most common practice is to use something like this with a sanitizing component. But I have actually asked somebody to test this out for me and she has normal sensation and she told me that after just a few usage, she felt a little dry. This is okay if you have to go out and you have no other means available but if you're at home like if i'm at home i prefer to use soap with the moisturizing component that is definitely most friendly to our most delicate area so this is my practice before doing ic i will use soap and water to clean the area thoroughly before inserting a catheter and then after an ic this can also be used to rinse off any lubricants left it on my skin. And after the procedure, I will use small cotton towel like this to dry the area. It's very environmentally friendly and I just have to wash them by the end of the day. The primary purpose of this tool is to spray clean after a bowel routine. I'll wipe the area first with a baby wipe I use this sprayer to finish the job. Apparently, men and women should do this differently. For men, it's more intuitive. You should hold the sprayer from behind. But in this illustration for women, it's telling us to spray from the front towards the back. Because of our anatomy, the close proximity between our JJ and rectum, we could introduce bacteria from our poop into our urinary tract. Sometimes it might not induce a UTI right away, but in my experience, when I had too much bacteria residing in my urinary tract, the color or smell of my pee will worsen, and at the same time, the level of inflammation will rise, and I will experience a heightened level of neuropathic pain in my body. Therefore, it's important to wipe or rinse from the front towards the back. And after that's done, I will use a paper towel to dry the whole area. Remember earlier this year when everyone went banana over toilet paper? I was as cool as cucumber because I have not used a toilet paper for its intended purposes for years. I also use this sprayer for other purposes. It can be used to clean a rojo cushion after it's been soiled. It can also be used to clean my dirty wheels or even my entire wheelchair because the water pressure can go up very high. It can be used to clean a variety of things in a household. It's very, very practical. 